Hey guys, Cal Torak here. Today, I would like to discuss the community's most recent reaction to Greed is Good, the latest dark and darker looter extractor clone to arrive on Steam. Now, I'm not saying everyone has reacted this way, but the overwhelming loud voices have met this game with nothing but hate and anger. It's far from a perfect game, but any attempt to bring up the positives of the game is met with a horde of comments like these. Even their Steam page is full of comments about Dark and Darker. Some people say they deserve all of this because the game very clearly has ripped off a lot from Dark and Darker, not just the gameplay. Many sound assets, unit types, and class kits are copied from Dark and Darker. I personally don't think most of this is a bad thing. As an indie game developer, I think it's good to copy mechanics and ideas from your competition, which is what I'm here to discuss today. Why Greed is Good is Great for Dark and Darker. Competition breeds excellence. It's something everyone has heard before in their lives. Those around you push yourself to be better constantly. And that's no different in the gaming industry. The most successful companies are constantly looking at the games in their genre to learn from and expand on. That doesn't always have to be gameplay elements. It can be UI features, end game systems, trade systems, anything. The ones that don't look at their competition are bound to fail. Sometimes certain features from a genre can be so impactful in one game it makes you dislike another game for not even having it. That's what's most important about having something to compare yourself to. It doesn't just point out your flaws, but your greatest strengths. That's why Greed is Good and other looter extractor games are ultimately great but needed for Dark and Darker to succeed. While there is a lot about Greed is Good I dislike, there are certain things I instantly fell in love with. Similar to the auction house systems from previous games I've played that use work orders, it's a very good base for a trading system. Knowing what you're buying beforehand, with no one being able to change the item and try and scam you last second. Also, being able to see what similar items sold for recently. You can also sell items while you're offline. I would love it if Dark and Darker looked more into a system like this. Auto sort for an inventory was an instant must have. I opened up more to the idea of a shared stash tab and overall really like their mana system. Now just about everything else from Dark and Darker is better, but this game is still very new. Who knows what will happen with this game in one year, and if there will be more for Dark and Darker to learn from. That's my message to the community with this video. Don't want to drag it on too long. Try and be a bit more open-minded to things like this, at least in the discussions. We need games like Greed is Good and others to help Dark and Darker grow. If we want this game to reach the potential we all hope it can, then competition is both healthy and needed. Also, Nerf Rangers.